Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Olga Omizola Lenink and I'm participating in the 31 Days of Terror Challenge. This is day 21 and in this video I'm going to share a new three card spread. I'm using my newest deck, the Enchanted Forest. And the reason why I say a new deck is because I wanted to add something. By the way, this is my Labradorite. I wanted to add something instead of repeating because yesterday I shared that I don't really have a favorite of anything and why. And there are like my most used three card spreads, but I would be repeating what others have said. Um, of course, past, present, future is so common. I don't really read future. Sometimes I do, but not so common. But then I will be again repeating what others have been saying and I figured let me add something new. So what I did actually is I let the cards show me a new one. I shuffled and let the jumper speak. The third card jumped and actually fell on place one. So it's one, two, three. Which beforehand of flipping them over already told me like this is now or what I want. Where I want to be now. What the problem is. Or, so this is card one. This is desire or growth. Number two. And then this is number three remember or step back to do not forget because this is what already brought you this is what already brought you growth a reminder to myself and then I flipped them over and I received immediately understood the reading Although I sometimes tend to calmly push aside my first thought and start to see if I overlooked something. So this is where I'm at. This is what I long. I have been here. I finally came at this place where I can finally do what I want to do. Where I feel at ease where I feel like I'm at the right time, where I can read and enjoy nature, enjoy everything that is and see all the beauty. This is where I want, this is my desire to flourish. But it's upside down. Now I don't really read reversals But sometimes when it's so obvious and it, that it falls like that, I do. And so now I've read this like, I have been feeling quite anxious last week. I also found out that, uh, well found out, I got my period two, two days ago. And yes, I talk about that. Because I think it's important that we talk about that. Um, but I lost this feeling so uh, also there have been happening many there have been happening several things that were big triggers for me also triggered my trauma and even though I healed myself 
trauma triggers will always be there. But the most important thing is to acknowledge them and to work through them, to love through them, to live through them. So, card three, three, the oldest one. It's funny because it is the high reference, but in this deck, it's so, it's so different because it's the biggest tree. It's the old tree. Is it an oak? No, it's not an oak, but it's an evergreen. You see? The owl, wisdom. And do you call this a, the tree bark? No, that's that's the surface. How do you call this? Like the, the whole thing. Tree bark? No. It's so thick. It's so old. Its roots go so deep. And it's... holding itself like it has found its stability and um, so when I thought about remember to step back and not do anything hasty um, this reminded me in order to grow I take small but steady steps and it's something I know it's something that I have to remind myself because I tend to feel anxious when things aren't going fast enough and but that also has to do with other things <coughs> it's very complex anyway sometimes I tend to calmly push aside my first thought and start to see if I overlooked something just to be sure, you know but then almost always I remind myself not all your first thought is it and then soon I find a confirmation <coughs> look here is the old one actually in card one so card three is actually in card one looking back looking at me that direction and it's actually between between card one and two well it is in card one but you see and <laughs> that to me felt like a confirmation so, yes, I'm happy with my today's three card spread reading. A new way. One, two, three. The now. Or the longing. Or the problem. The desire for growth. The desire to step forward. But in order to look back. And it's a different perspective on letting go because we can learn so much from our past and it will always be a part of us we just have to find the lessons in it and the blessings in it well thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and like give me a like because it helps me uh, i've been um, very happy with all the new subscribers Thank you for joining me and check out my other videos um, because this is day 21. Well, sending you lots of love and see you guys tomorrow.